Hello, this is Oksana from Alabama, your favorite realtor in Mobile. Today, I invited to my channel, Devon. She is the goddess, the ruler of a homeschooling academy. So, welcome. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Devon, please tell me. How long ago did you start the Homeschooling Academy? The Homeschooling Academy, um, Compass Point Christian Academy, started 10 years ago this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10 years, that's a long time. Who came up with a name? My dad. Mm -hmm. He named it. <laughs> I couldn't, I'm bad with names. So, uh, if somebody wants to start homeschooling in Mobile, Alabama, what do they need to do? Well, that's, um, that's, that's a big question. In Alabama, we have three options. Three options. Three, three options. One, I throw out because you have to be a certified teacher. We don't want to deal with that. That's a lot of trouble. We, we don't. Certified know. teacher for a parent? For the parent, yeah. So okay. we don't even think about that one. All right, okay. So there are two options after that. Mm -hmm. You can enroll in an academy or a cover school like what I do. Mm -hmm. That's what I do, it's mm -hmm. my, my job. Mm -hmm. Or you can do the paperwork yourself. So mm -hmm. one, you're hi basically hiring someone to file your paperwork and be your consultant and mm -hmm. help. they help you find all the things. The second one, you do everything yourself. So, mm -hmm. either one, and I can walk you through either. So. Mm -hmm. Devon has a website, yeah. and you can reach her via that website and via Instagram mm -hmm. and ask all kinds of questions. Oh, yeah. I love that, and I help people all the time. So, even if they don't enroll in my, my cover school, I help them. I never not help. I'm a good mama. <laughs> How many kids do you have? I have five. Yes. Yeah. Five kids, and they all homeschool. Yeah, they all homeschool. I have two in college now, two in high school, and then a second grader. Question for about college and high school. Mm -hmm. So when they graduate from homeschooling, they get the graduation. They get the diploma. The yeah. diploma, okay. And yeah. with that diploma, they can get to any university? Yeah, they can go to any university. Um, we also help with transcripts making the transcripts and getting those ready for college to turn them in for admissions. And sometimes, uh, I mean, I help parents walk through all those steps. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, mine, mine are at community college. One is going to USA next year and one is going to go to um, University of South Alabama and one's going to go to University of Mobile. All right. So My son goes to University of Mobile third, yeah. third year. So, um, if somebody would like think, how much does it cost to do homeschooling? Oh, you can make it anything you want. It can be anywhere from free or, you know, very nominal. Um, there's free curriculum out there, but then it can be very pricey. You can spend up to $1,000 there. I mean, it's whatever you can afford. There's something for everybody's budget. So, because different parents can choose yeah, they can uh, choose. different classes. Yes, in Alabama, we have a lot of freedom. Freedom in Alabama. There's lots of freedom. We don't have set um, subjects. We don't have set um, things that we turn in. We just have attendance, which is all we turn in. So um, I usually say stick kind of close to what the state likes for their high school. Mm -hmm. And um, then it's going to be good when you go to college. Okay. So let's say if somebody is involved in homeschooling, mm -hmm. um, would it be beneficial for them to get GED? No, 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 no. I don't, you don't have, legally you never, I would never suggest someone go get a GED. Okay. I don't think that's beneficial. Um, in Alabama, you can, as the parent, you can issue the diploma if you're homeschooling. But I issue for my students. Mm -hmm. I have no problem doing that. Um, I've never had a problem with any diploma in 10 years. Never had a problem. But, um... I just, I would never say go get a GED. Okay. I think a high school diploma is a better, has a little bit more staying power. Most colleges are going to like it better. Okay. So colleges would prefer... Prefer a diploma. Prefer a diploma. Not and a... homeschool diplomas have the same legal standing as any public or private school. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
How many people right now in your academy? In my academy, we have about 302 families. So about six to 700 students. Mm -hmm. It's big. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, how do you organize uh, field trips? Well, because I know we've been through it, but uh, I want you to tell them. Um, I don't do a lot. I have a mama that does that. She actually does it as a business, and I send everybody to her because it, it saves me time. What she does is you join and pay $8 a month, and then she does all the group field trips. Like, next this month we're going to see the Phantom of the Opera in Pensacola. And last week we went to the zoo in New Orleans and the World War II Museum in New Orleans. So we go all over the place. We just organize the field trips and go. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. You just have to find the information. I'm your information girl in Alabama. Okay. Like her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, information is everything. Yeah. Um, so let's say if somebody is slow and uh, when they're supposed to finish high school, 12th grade, they can't. What do we say? That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I have some families that go five or six years because there are different issues. Maybe there was sickness. Maybe um, they have some learning disabilities and they need to go slower. And I have some that go really fast and get done in three years. Mm -hmm. I have one that could have finished in three years, but I made her wait and she went four years. Mm -hmm. And then I had one who he really needed five, but I let him finish in four. You would have done better. Mm -hmm. So it's what what works for your child. You can there's freedom in Alabama. Mm -hmm. uh, when a child goes to work as mm -hmm. a teenager, do we count, you know, those hours and experiences? Yes, somehow? I do. You do. I do. Yes. My girls were lifeguards for the YMCA, mm -hmm. and I counted their training class as one of their credits, and I counted. Um, let's see their time is working as a lifeguard so I counted that as work study I had my boy with he went to our church and was um, learning audio visual stuff at church and I counted that as a class I'm like yeah you can count a lot of things at school okay yeah. I have a family that is doing construction on their on a home they're building their house and that's what they're counting it for oh okay yeah, there's lots of things you can do okay um, did you have some funny stories? Funny stories? Let's see. With my kids? <laughs> I don't know. I'm funny. Um, usually my kids don't know what grade they're in. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they'll look at me like, what grade am I in? I'm like, you're in high school. You're in high school. You're a junior. And they're like, what does that mean? So, yeah. Little things like that. I don't, I mean, I don't know of any funny stories. Uh, do, uh, one of your girls plays guitar. Yeah, my my oldest girl has had 10 years of classical guitar. That's totally on her transcript. And my other girls have had five years of piano. Mm -hmm. And let's see what else. Then they've got the lifeguarding. That's something unusual for them. Um, they're all studying Spanish right now. Mm -hmm. What about Russian? Your husband speaks Russian. No, no. they don't want to study Russian. I try to make them. I've tried to make them for years. I made them. They won't do it. And I'm bad. You don't want to speak Russian with me. My Russian's bad. Mm -hmm. She agrees with me. <laughs> it's very bad Russian. So but I think it'll come back around. Juliana is almost fluent in Spanish. And she's, her and my oldest son are starting to talk about studying Russian now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's much easier uh, right now when they know English very good mm -hmm. and uh, there are YouTube channels where yeah, you turn it on of, and you can study. That's, yes, you can study all sorts of stuff and we have a great community in Mobile. We have a strong homeschool community, probably about 5,000 families. So we have a very strong, I mean, we have robotics teams, we have, um, the University of Mobile has a homeschool co-op on Mondays that you can go and be taught by a homeschool professor. I mean professors that are at the school and um, we just have a really strong community very very happy about homeschooling so yeah so homeschooling it doesn't mean just staying home no. and being on your own we always laugh and say the challenge is to um to stay home to finish the, the schoolwork 
my girls are out of the house two or three days a week and they actually do school on um, Saturday and Sunday to finish mm -hmm. because they're out on piano takes up half a day we go to co-op which is like a one-day program to get together and do things together mm -hmm. and, um, do you have to pay to go to co-op co-op yeah you pay but we have like um, a teacher for like physical science lab we have reading tutors we have um, do we have we have a, we have a Russian teacher that is doing Russian culture mm -hmm. and she's teaching some words we have a Spanish cooking class and a Spanish teacher so the Spanish cooking class has people from the community coming in and teaching how to cook different dishes but are they teaching it in Spanish yeah in Spanish they're speaking Spanish and the the Spanish teacher is there to help them out <laughs> oh okay uh, yeah mm -hmm. so lots of interesting things in there so uh, we're gonna have a line here how to find <laughs> your website. Yes. And you also on Facebook. I'm on yeah. Facebook. You can always find me. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So welcome to Sterling First Assembly of God. This is where Compass Point Christian Academy works out of. We have a Friday co-op program where we have classes all day long for everything from preschool all the way up through high school. We have high school teachers. We have middle school, elementary, preschool babies. They're all over the building. So so this is where our teachers hang out during the day. If they're, if they're not teaching or if the, the parents, we call it the teacher's lounge, the parents hang out while their kids are in classes, or if a teacher's free, they'll come in here. Sometimes the mamas will do Bible study. Sometimes they have a workshop going on. Sometimes they just have time to go and relax. And we um, have coffee always. We always have coffee going on and um, things to do. And just hang out and see each other and learn things if we need to. Well, this church is our, this is our second building. Um, my dad was the pastor for 22 years, and this one was built, this building was built by my dad. It is, I believe we're hitting our 30th year that we've been in this building. I was about 21 when we moved here from the other location, and um, we have 21 acres in all. We actually lease part of the acres to um, Sarah Land for their soccer fields. And so um, it was my dad's dream for my, my children when I was first started homeschooling for them to graduate on this day, on our stage in the sanctuary. And so we do, we have the homeschool program. We go all over and we just, you know, continue the family, I guess, family business. <laughs> A little bit. So the fall festivals for our homeschoolers, it's open up for the whole homeschool community. Um, in Mobile area, we have at least around 5,000 families that homeschool. So they were invited to come in and have the fall festival. It's free. Um, the only thing you pay for is your snacks or your food. And they can do the bouncy houses and they can dunk them. I was being dunked in the dunk tank today. They can um, bowl. They can get their face painted and just have a lot of fun. So... That's what we're doing today with the fall festival. Um, I okay. see there is a room with a bunch of clothes. Tell me about so, it. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are getting is a uh, coats for the Ukraine and for Ukrainians. Um, one of our ministries that we work with is Orphans Hands, and they have a big clothing drive to send a container for the Ukrainians who may not be back in Ukraine yet. So. I'm really, I, I, this makes my heart happy, so. <laughs> so people donated. They donated, uh, yeah, um, coats. I, there was a fur coat here this morning. I thought that was the best one they turned in because, you know, I've lived in Belarus and I know how cold it gets and some of this stuff will not work very well for winter. But regardless, we will send them what they, people, I mean, people donated out of generosity okay. and out of their hearts. So we'll send it and hopefully they can use some of it. Uh, thank you for the interview and the tour. Yes, I know. I'm so glad y'all came to visit today. It's so much pleasure. So, bye.